fall is for tobacco and tobacco is for the fall. This is about to be the best video yet. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is me, Lauren, AKA Low So Natural. If you're here today, guess what? Fall is for tobacco. And when I say tobacco, I'm talking about tobacco fragrances. And if tobacco isn't your vibe, then maybe move along. Okay. So if you want to hear about three tobacco fragrances, I am going to be reaching for prayerfully this fall. Keep watching. So truthfully, I much rather be preparing to watch the Ravens game right now. I'm talking to y'all about fragrance because I might not be able to watch the game. But guess what? I've been praying for an opportunity to record and God gave me that opportunity. So I'm going to take advantage of it and I'm not going to complain. So welcome to my glow getters, my glow gang. I'm so glad to see you all here. To any people that are new here, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you wanna join the Glow Gang, become a Glow Getter. I welcome you and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I drop a video. Also make sure you give me a thumbs up because it helps my algorithm and it helps other people see this video. So today, again, I have three fragrances that have a tobacco essence, a tobacco note, or a tobacco in the name. So we're gonna get into them. Today is officially the first day of fall. Now, while the weather here in Baltimore still is fluctuating, it's still hot some days, it's cool at times, I'm ready for it to get cool. So I'm gonna be trying to reach for these fragrances. Tobacco is a note that I like, but often it can be a little bit more masculine, but if it's sweet and if it's warm and if it's cozy, I like the scent. Sometimes tobacco is just like, mm, that smells good. Now don't come around me with cigarettes. That's not the type of tobacco I like. I like warmth the depth, the maturity, the feel good. That's what I'm looking for. I'm gonna start off with this fragrance right here. This is Dossier's Powdery Tobacco, which is inspired by Tobacco Vani by Tom Ford. The notes are right here and I'm gonna read it to you all. The top notes are tobacco, ginger, and apricot. The middle notes are honey, vanilla, and cocoa. And the base notes are tonka bean, dry fruits, and blonde woods. Baby Dent. I've had this fragrance for over a year, probably almost going on two years. Not quite, but almost. The dent is not denting enough. I've only worn this a couple times. This is a fragrance I enjoy, but it's like I have to be in the mood to wear it or I have to be going out. So hopefully I can be going out sometime very soon to wear this but right now honestly it's not cool enough for me mm. this is definitely a spiced tobacco but it is powdery it's sweet and spicy you get the ginger you 100% get tobacco but the tonka bean mm. probably out of these three fragrances I think powdery tobacco might be the most masculine leaning because of the spice. I like this y'all. I have a number of things I want to layer with powdery tobacco this season. But if you like a scent that screams fall, if you are going to a bonfire, something outdoors on a cool evening, I feel like powdery tobacco would be perfect. When you're wearing a leather jacket, powdery tobacco. I feel like a man or a woman could wear this. I've never smelled tobacco vanille, so I can't confirm or deny that this smells like it, but Dossier fragrances are typically spot on. It's strong too, y'all. It's giving spicy, warm, powdery, and sweet extra emphasis on the spice if you don't like ginger don't get this fragrance this could maybe be fire with something like Killian's princess other honey scents this would be perfect with other vanillas you could layer this with choco musk this would probably be good with like vanilla vice or fragrances like that 
when I think of the fall, I think of tobacco. So that's kind of what inspired this video because I said tobacco is going to be my fragrance of the season. Not that all of the fragrances are going to have a tobacco note, but it's a note that I want to focus on in this season. Meaning I want to try and reach for my tobacco fragrances because if I'm not reaching for them now, I'm not going to be reaching for them in the spring. Yeah, I could reach for them in the winter, but it's the fall. So let me make use of them now. It's super powdery and I'm a powdery fragrance type of girl but it's like more of a mature masculine, of course it's unisex, but a little bit more masculine leaning powdery. And I like it. If you wanna give me spice, give me ginger spice. This would be fire with a gingerbread fragrance. Like if you have a gingerbread body butter, which I have a sample of Butter Baby's gingerbread, mm. That would be fire because that's the type of warm spice that powdery tobacco gives. We're gonna come back to it, but that's fragrance number one, Powdery Tobacco by Dossier. Fragrance number two is Zara's Tobacco Collection, rich, warm, and addictive. I was sent this fragrance by my favorite subscriber, the best subscriber in the world, Crystal. She sent this to me and it's a fragrance I smelled in Zara and loved. Of course, it's from the masculine line, but anybody can wear this. This smells so good, so good. You get the vanilla, you get the sweetness, you get the warmth. It's literally rich, warm, and addictive y'all this is much more of an easy reach than powdery tobacco could you wear these two together of course let's try these two amazing they're in combo powdery tobacco or tobacco vanille plus zara's rich warm and addictive wear them together uh Amazing. The fragrance notes listed on Fragrantica are rum, peony, and vanilla. I don't know how accurate those notes are, but this is so pretty because it's powdery, it's warm, it's vanilla. Slightly boozy, but not like overly. I wouldn't, I don't know. It's good, it's sweet, and that's what I like is definitely not spiced like powdery tobacco this is more of just like a literally it's rich warm and sweet the main accords are vanilla rum powdery sweet woody and floral i really don't get a floral note per se but maybe the powderiness i get is coming from panty but it's just so pretty y'all I 100% will wear this by itself. The vibe this is giving is like the color of my shirt. It's just giving brown sugar, rum, vanilla, warm. Shea butter baby. Literally, I'm gonna be a shea butter baby when I wear this. You can layer so many things with this tobacco, rich, warm, and addictive. You could literally layer it with cocoa butter. You could layer it with a chocolate scent you could layer this with a powdery scent like knowing me and my love of baby powder like why not why not layer baby powder and tobacco like i can do whatever i want i would layer this with my other tobacco scents of course you could do gingerbread with this if you have any you know cocoa butter cashmere type scents cocoa butter i'm just saying it's giving warm rich and addictive like the name i don't know what else i can say but let me know your thoughts do you like this fragrance definitely unisex in my opinion and i love it i know more layer combos are going to come to me so i will let y'all know when they do i don't want this video to be long and drawn out so we're gonna move on to the next fragrance. And then if I have more things to share, then I have more things to share. This next fragrance is Serge Luton. 
Tong Shiagi. Y'all, I was gifted this for Christmas. And I love it. And I really did not wear it out. I just kind of have been testing it in the house. I was not familiar with this fragrance. But y'all, it is amazing. I think I like this more than Zara's Rich Woman Addictive. Cause to me, this is addictive. It's very similar to this, but there's more depth. Like this is definitely giving niche fragrance. Like the fragrance notes in this, you're not gonna find in other fragrances. And when I read the fragrance notes, I was a little scared because I was like, why? Like, What about those notes made you think I wanted this fragrance? Let me read y'all the notes. The notes are tobacco leaf, honey, amber, hay, as in horses and barns and farms and old McDonald, hay, incense, sandalwood, iris, musk, and rose. This is so good. This is definitely giving powdery tobacco. It's not spicy like powdery tobacco. This is sweeter. It does have this more like earthy sweetness. And I think the hay is definitely a note that you get. Then it is incense-y, but not in an offensive, like walk into a Middle Eastern store type of vibe. No offense. I'm just saying, you know, you can walk into a store and the overpowering smell of incense can hit you. And I like the smell of incense. This is more like a incense in the background, like they're there, but not overly. This I think is 100% unisex. A man or a woman could wear it. I don't necessarily initially get the rose, but I think maybe in the dry down, the florals come through a little bit more. But the iris, the sandalwood, all of that just makes it so smooth and pretty. The amber and the honey is sweet. The musk gives it like the strength without it being too much. The main accords are amber, sweet, 100%, tobacco, honey, powdery, woody, green, smoky, warm, spicy, and floral. Showstopper. As much as I am going to layer this, I'm gonna wear this by itself too. It's just amazing. It is my favorite out of the three. These two, these two smell so good together. Serge Luton's Shiggy and Zara's Rich, Warm, and Addictive. If you have these two, wear them together. Wear them together. Let's try this with powdery tobacco. That smells good too. They all go together. So powdery tobacco and shaggy, they have the overlapping tobacco, the overlapping honey. If I had to rank them, Serge Luton Shaggy would come in first place, be number one. Second place would be Zara's Tobacco Collection, Rich, Warm, and Addictive. And in third place would be Powdery Tobacco. For me, I just have to be more in the mood for this because of how spicy and powdery it is. Like, definitely giving holiday vibes. If you're going to like a speakeasy, it's giving like cigar lounge. And I've never been to a cigar lounge, but that's what it's giving. Powdery tobacco and Zara's Rich Woman Addictive are a little bit more affordable than Shaggy. But I think if you go to the right website, you can probably get Shaggy on sale. This is not a new fragrance. This came out, I believe, in the early 2000s. So it's not a new fragrance, but 
I mean, it's by Serge Luton. And I feel like this is such a distinct, unique fragrance house. All of the fragrances are going to be unique. It has a hay note. How many fragrances do you know that have a hay note? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It could be too sweet for some. I could maybe see a man saying it's too sweet. This does have that honey note and honey can, honey can go bad. I like honey notes, but then I also have smelled some honey fragrances that are not my favorite. Like, why do you want to wear this? Honey is not a favorite. Definitely not at the top of my favorite fragrance notes. This is honey done right. Honey, honey, honey. I just want to wear it out and I want somebody to be like, you smell good and I feel like it's going to happen. I'm going to layer these and when I come up with some fire layering combos, I will definitely let y'all know. The possibilities are endless because with all of these tobacco, you can always layer it with woody fragrances. You can layer your tobacco fragrances with vanillas, chocolate, all of the like rich, literally all of the rich, the warm and addictive scents. You can always sweeten them up and add like a escapade gourmand to them. Or for like the tobacco and honey, I can layer it with my white milk by the door brand, which is inspired by Bianco Latte. Like the possibilities are endless. Or you could just be experimental and layer tobacco with anything. I'm telling you, you'd be surprised what you can layer with tobacco. So let me know y'all favorite tobacco layering combos. Let me know y'all favorite tobacco scents. I have more content coming for you all really soon. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I drop a video and you will be in the know. Become a glow gator, join the glow gang. And share this video with somebody you know that might be interested in tobacco fragrances. You can send this to a man or a woman because these are all unisex fragrances. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love you guys. The tobacco fragrances are cozy. Like I just can't wait to put on a nice sweater. I need a nice cardigan. Mmm, a leather jacket or pleather. I just feel obligated to wear the color black when I put on a tobacco fragrance. Like black, brown, or gray. Y'all, we're maturing this season. We're reaching for tobacco fragrances. Whether I'm dressed up or not, we're reaching for tobacco fragrances. Okay, I should say I, cause I don't know what y'all are reaching for, but I'm gonna be reaching for tobacco because I'm elevating, I'm, I'm almost 30 y'all like not always about smelling like candy sometimes I want to smell like tobacco and that's cool because I'm all for coziness <laughs> let's try mix bars vanilla bourbon with focus rich warm and addictive let's try it let's see let's see I feel like vanilla bourbon probably could go with all of these. Let's see. What is this combo hitting on? That's good. Yeah. Okay. So we have this combo. Vanilla bourbon and rich, warm, and addictive. A combo let's try it why not powdery tobacco and vanilla bourbon why not why not that is actually good I don't like it as much as rich warm addictive and vanilla bourbon but it is good. You get a mix of both. As you should, but you know, sometimes you get one over the other. 
I'm scared to layer it with Shaggy because Shaggy is so good by itself. It's like, I don't want to mess it up. Let's see. It is good though. It is good. I didn't mess it up. Vanilla Bourbon by Mix Bar is another vanilla that you can layer with whatever, whatever you want. Also, I feel like Vanilla 28, Vanilla 28 could probably go with all of these, but I'm not going to try it right now. I'm just going to give y'all the combo. Y'all can try it for yourselves. Look at the juice, y'all. This was a perfume that my girl Stephanie Chanel gifted me in the Secret Santa Swap. And I just opened it up recently because I wanted sis to macerate. And she been macerating for like a year. So y'all know this K. Ali Vanilla 28 is about to be bomb. And I can't wait to use her. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm just, again, I'm just talking y'all. I really gonna wrap it up this time. Because layering combos always gonna come to me. But I'm really about to turn the camera off. So. <laughs> Something told me I should have taken my thumbnail picture before the sun went away. Now the skies are gray.